Citizens want development, citizens want change, citizens want employment. Hello everyone, my name is Bambi Dosan from Dimapur Government College. My opinion of election in Nagaland for the upcoming 14th general election to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly 2023. Nagaland stands for Christianity State. We stand for clean election. Let's all fight together the corruption. Citizens stop selling your vote and citizens stop others from selling their vote. Citizens stop your parents, relatives, clans and range from dragging your name on the electoral list. Citizens stop telling your religious to pray for corrupt leaders. Citizens know you and I saw our vote, we saw our right to a meaningless future. Citizens, first let's start being honest with ourselves and each other, then the rest will be a liberation walk. We have 12 political parties for the assembly election to be held on 27 February. During the election campaign, the candidates should not fulfill public demand by money and also supplying vehicles, alcohol, gambling stuff and duty hour paid to youth. It brings us more violence to our society. Public indulge in corruptions during election because of two main reasons. One, poverty and number two, lack of work culture. Our leaders are about, our vote are about, leaders and public blames each other of being the root cause of corruption. But when the times of election comes to finance these elections, campaign funds are collected through illegal and immoral way and the public in general are gleefully grasping the money in each and every walk of life corruption is rampant in Nagaland. Realistically, clean election will never happen since money and power are always going to be involved but I do think that we as a people can choose more but I completely understand why they take the money it's because of poverty as long as someone stay poor there will be a vote to be on and then there are some people who vote complain win a cycle that keeps repeat even before the election start we need to educate ourselves on the pros and cons of electing a candidate lastly as a democratic citizens of India let's all choose our leaders wisely for the next five year terms, hopefully waiting for a free and fair election in the upcoming 14th general election 2023. Long live Nagaland.